Hello friends, today we are going to see generic feature of the Swift library uh, which is why we use that because generics is something which avoids a duplication and provides an abstraction. For example, that Swift provides some inbuilt generic functionalities like the array structure and dictionary structure are providing. For example, below that integer array is an array of integer in the singular bracket you define an integer okay so this array will only store the integer value only okay below that we have created two strings array the two way so these strings are stores only strings value only because swift is a type self language okay the same way i have created it's a sample blank dictionary over here so I define a string as a key and any value as an a value okay so here is a generic way I have defined a dictionary as a blank okay so this is called a dictionary okay now let's see the example you so you get more idea on the generic language okay I have created one example over here the, so we can see the what is the difference between the uh, generic and inbuilt features okay so here I have created one function which accepts two integer values and I am swapping that okay I am providing two values and printing before the swap is 10 and 20 you can see on this right side of the output that before swap it is 10 and 20 value okay but after calling this swap it is became 20 and 10 okay but what is the problem with that okay let's see I let I am copying the this same function for the float value okay so what is this okay now you can see that it accepts a float value now and we are passing the float value also. this this will done the same thing with the integer also. okay but uh, what if I want to make this function as a generic because it is a duplication of this method right so I will delete this because the functionality is the same and this function will be a generic this way this in angular bracket after the name of the function the swift define a generic this way okay and what it's this error says that generic parameter t is not used as function signature so it's a signature of this function I have to at least one defined parameter as a generic so I want both of the parameter as a generic so I keep the t as a generic t as a type t is a type so I have to define my custom type as a t okay t is not required I can use anything let's see the element okay this is the same thing so the functionality will remain the same for this function and I and you can see below that the function accepts a float value and swap the uh, swap, swapping also done okay if I do the same thing for the integer the result will be the same for the integer as well if I change integer to string over string one and the string of two then it will swap the two strings as well so you can th see the power of the generic functionality right let's see one more example so you get more idea of that uh, let's see health checking page okay I am creating one fun one function over here 
check function before that okay let's see one more thing that I have created this uh, swap function with all types what should be the things that I can restrict it okay so I am doing this example to see that okay let's see uh, I am creating one protocol to restrict the any functionality we use the protocol protocol means the rules restriction constraints okay so see help check so I created one protocol named health check and creating functionality like uh, mm, what is the name let's create one property called health uh, one parameter with a integer type which accepts and set and get value of the health as well uh, I have to check the values and call this okay of one type with the health check so I have restricted its functionality to the health check the only classes or structures or enum that accepts this protocols that confirm to these protocols only able to access this function only okay one more thing that we have also not defined a parameter at least one parameter of type t that's why this there is coming okay so uh, health of uh, type t okay so i can access through this t uh, this method this uh, variable and uh, the function if any let's say set health with the status of type boolean okay anything else okay if uh, health c you can see over here that there are two values over here of the type health check right okay health dot health if i greater than zero then i am calling the health dot set health is true as calling the same method with of type false false okay okay now what should be should I create is structure structure of type person and I give a name to identify the person who is a uh, whose health we are checking so health now if I create P as a person of name X then we call check or type T as a P but this will give an error because health is not confirmed to a person is not confirming to health check protocol okay so we need to confirm this protocol first so struct and health check now we are confirmed to that it is giving an error that you have not implemented this health functionality so I am implementing it so okay if status is equal to true then I am printing that print that is healthy else we are printing that self dot in is unhealthy okay and one more thing that you have to set this health property also so I am creating that health okay now the structure is giving that uh, uh, there is no single parameter value because we have two properties over here so person health is equal to for example say 50 and name is my name just me so you can check over here 
that just mean is healthy because our health is 50 which is greater than 0 now what if I give a 0 over here it gives a healthy so now friends you understand the use of the generic functionality please implement it don't forget to subscribe